So you're thinking about moving to La Cunada, Flint Ridge, California? Well, in this video, I'm gonna go over with you the pros and cons of living there. We're gonna talk about the schools, the crime. We're gonna talk about the cost of living. We're gonna talk about housing. And if you stick around till the end of the video, I will put up websites that you can go check out these facts. Let's do that now. If this is your first time to this channel and you want to know everything about living in La Cunada, Flint Ridge, then click on that subscribe button below, tap on the bell so that you can get instant notifications of what's going on in La Cunada, Flint Ridge. I'm Lori Lynn Thaler and I'm with Living in Los Angeles. Now we get calls, texts, and emails every day from viewers just like yourself looking for help in moving to La Cunada, Flint Ridge, California. So whether you're moving in nine or 90 days, whether you're moving from outside the state of California, whether you're moving from anywhere else in California to the LA area, or if you're just moving from one suburb to another here in Los Angeles, give us a call, text, shoot us an email so that we can help you make a smooth move to La Cunada, Flint Ridge, California. Okay, so let's start with the pros. Now, according to niche.com, La Cunada Flint Ridge is the number one suburb in all of California to raise a family. And a lot of that has to do with the schools. Not just the private schools, but the public schools too. They are top notch. I'm talking A++++. Great teachers, great staff, uh, families get involved, parents get involved. Very, very high end quality schools there. Um, I actually know a family that decided to pay uh, the higher price for a home there, which the median price is $1.5 million. They thought it was better to invest the money into the real estate so that their child can go on to a public school there as opposed to buying somewhere else in LA County at a lower price and paying a much higher price to go to public uh, to a private school. So the, the public schools up there are really top notch. Um, with the high price of the homes there comes another thing. It's a very um, uh, stable growth there. So that means you don't have a lot of growth there. It's very stable. It's very spread out. Uh, you have beautiful, unique properties up there. You have families that tend to hang out and do things with each other. Uh, you are away from uh, the noise of downtown. It's very serene. You're close enough to downtown LA, but you're far enough that you're really out of the hustle and bustle. You're right there in the La Crescenta Mountains. You're right there backing up to the Angeles National Forest. And that brings to mind the entertainment there. It is either free, you've got lots of free, or affordable. So you've got Descano Gardens. I've been there several times. In the summer, it's you know tulips and wildflowers. And at Halloween and Christmas, they have exhibits there. And like I said, it's a variable very affordable to go there. There's a nice little restaurant there. It's just a great place to go and hang out and learn about nature. You've got uh, JPL Laboratories. That's the Jet Propulsion Laboratories you can go visit. You've got over 25 miles of hiking trails there in the Angeles National Forest. Uh, you're right there in the La Crescenta Mountains. Uh, speaking of those mountains, that's where your beautiful architectural homes you'll find. Some of them are built back in there and into the mountains there and it's just very gorgeous, very serene. Um, just a, a really fun town to raise a family in. Uh, businesses there, majority of people that live there work there. Your jobs are in management or business with a focus on the financial industry. Um, crime, let's talk about crime. On a scale of A, B, C, D, crime is about a B. Very safe place to live, believe it or not. It uh, is mainly, may, mainly due to theft. So if you go on niche.com, you can read reviews from a lot of people there. 71% uh, of the people say that it's a very safe place to live. And 63% of the people that live there say that the police are very visible and they respond very quickly when they're called. Uh, your air quality up there, your air quality is pretty good. You're gonna have a couple pollutants uh, that you might be allergic to. It's a very uh, small group of people according to the website I was reading on. And speaking of which, at the end of this video, 
I'm going to put up a slide that's got all these websites that if you want to go do uh, some further reading for yourself, you can. Um, I was talking about the air quality, so let's talk about weather. Um, in the summer, uh, you're going to have about a 90 degree weather one or two months out of the year. And in the winter, you're going to have uh, around the low 50s. So uh, you do have a little bit of season, but again, it's just a very nice, beautiful place to live. I mean, look behind me at the beautiful uh, jasmine and the weather is just gorgeous here right now. So let's go to a few of those cons. Now where I stated the home uh, median price is 1.5 million, that's expensive. That's high. That's just your median price. To live in La Cunada Flint Ridge, you're going to need to make about $150,000 a year. That's all there is to it. Um, there is very little nightlife there. 91% uh, of the people own their homes. Hardly any rentals there. Uh, I was talking about the jobs up there, the professions that they have. There's not a lot of single people that live up there. Uh, this is why it's the pro there is it's a great place to raise a family. So it's not a lot of single life, very little nightlife, but because of that, that makes up for the quality of living there. Uh, earthquakes, you have a lot of earthquakes up there. Now, don't get me wrong, we all have a lot of earthquakes, but uh, La Cunada Flint Ridge is more susceptible to them, and I'm gonna tell you the majority of them you don't even feel. Um, sometimes people will tell me that there was just an earthquake, and I'm like, you're kidding me, it was right under me, and I didn't even know it. But La Cunada Flint Ridge, is closer to some of the faults, so they do have more of the earthquakes there. Uh, being the fact that it backs up to the Angeles National Forest and to the La Crescenta Mountains, you do have to be careful about coyotes and mountain lions, more so coyotes. That's with your pets. They don't just go after small pets, they go after large animals too, so you need to keep an eye on your pets there, especially at night. You don't want to leave them outside. Uh, it is a very long commute to the beaches. It's an even longer commute to LAX if you choose to fly out of there. You do have the Hollywood Burbank Airport. That's not very far from here. But if you've got to go to LAX on an international flight, you're going to have a long drive. So with that said, let's go to that slide that has all the websites which you can go visit.